Okay, so we're gonna do another part of Worldwide. This will be part 7. I'm on Darkfoot. I've gotten some of the levels in that world beaten. I'm guessing maybe that lake right next to Mars is gonna have a blue switch. And then the other path is gonna lead further on in the game, obviously. So let's go to Darkfoot 3 and hope we don't get massacred here. Okay. Then again, Bones can't even technically walk, so I don't know what's going on here. Floating or crawling, whatever bones, I have to obviously avoid completely, I think. And crap, it's Match Koopa. I guess I'll try and move through the level quick and hope I don't have to deal with them too much. Or maybe I should slow down because I might just jump into my death. Okay, he can't really spawn now. Okay, now he can spawn again. That's gonna breathe fire or something. Uh, other Bowser statue behind the tree. Okay, there's a fire breather right there. Oh, that was a quickie! That was a quickie right there. That could have been done in under a minute if I just went fast. I mean, I did take my time once I took that hit there. No power up, but at least the level wasn't too long. I mean, it's still much harder for not be able to spin jump at all. Dark slough. Slough slough. English is a confusing language. Oh crap! It's underwater. Oh boy. I think we're gonna be in for a rough time here. What is wrong with these eeries? This is gonna be a rough one. The name... Colors... Something just tells me this one's gonna be a rough one. And I guess it's Dark Slough. And hope I don't get brutally massacred in it. Oh shit, the timer. I think we gotta move quick. I don't know how much time. We don't have a lot of time, so I gotta figure out what I'm doing quick. That's like eight boos on screen, pretty much. Like, Yeah, I count like, no, seven, but it's close enough, really. That's still a lot of boos put in one area. 7, 8, that doesn't, at that point, it doesn't make that much of a difference compared to, say, like, 1 or 2. Once you got 7, I don't think you'll need the 8th really that badly compared to, like, if you have 1 boo and then you need a 2nd. So I need to just not get lost and outrace the timer. And I might not be able to do that because I was taking it too slowly in the beginning there. I might not be outracing the timer, so... I think we're in trouble here. No power-ups, almost no time. What are you expecting me to do here? This might have saved me. Okay, it looks like weird arrows, horribly colored pipes. Blue switch with 18 seconds to spare. <laughs> We started with like 200, I think. Yeah, ended with 18 seconds. I only tried to go fast once I realized the time was starting to run low. And if I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have actually made it. Darkfoot River, let's go. see anything relating to a river here. All I see is mountains and enemies. 
enemies. Lots and lots of enemies. Oh, well, why not? Might as well just take it since it's just right in front of us now. Oh, sweet, another power up. Now I finally have a fire flower again. Not sure how long I'll be keeping it for, or even if I'll be able to use it. And... Okay, maybe I didn't completely screw up. I think I can still make this jump. It would have been easier to just knock out the lotus with a shell and then use that as an extra little platform there. Oh man. That's a pretty far jump right there. Oh sweet, another. Uh oh, footballs. Might not be able to keep all these power ups for long. Worst case scenario, I just slide on the slopes and hope for the best. Or just shoot fire and hope for the best, because I can do that. But if I don't have the fire, I'll probably just try and use the slopes. Surprisingly bright for a world called, called Dark Foot. Dark Mountain. Just cleaning my glasses and we'll go straight to it. Straight to Dark Mountain. My eyesight isn't completely shot and this looks pretty bright for a Dark Mountain to me. <laughs> okay, thankfully I can see a bit of the ledge, so that way I have some idea where to jump to. I don't have just completely yes. This looks like a pretty tame level compared to some of the other ones. Definitely a lot more freedom as to where you can jump around. There's a lot more... A lot more different ways you can tackle this level. A bunch of ledges jump around. Not that many enemies, surprise. Okay, there's still a bunch of enemies, but... This free, this just seems easier than some of the other Darkfoot levels. Maybe because it's brighter and cheerier. And as I say that, a Super Koopa bounces me up into the air and makes me miss my jump. Oof. Now what's down here? Okay, there's the uh, place. Okay, thank you for putting coins there. Okay, now we're getting a lot of enemies. Never mind about it being a little easier. It's still probably just as hard as all the other levels. Especially if I'm just gonna be... Then again, I was going too quick. And... Okay, that... I, that actually killed me. I had like hardly any time to react to those Koopas. Okay, I thought I didn't shoot that jump right. I thought I didn't do it right. And that was right near the exit, too. <laughs> we should be out of this world soon enough, I can only imagine. And it's probably only going to get harder from here. The top of Mount... Oh, it's Mount Dark. I thought it said Mount Dork. Mount Dork would have been a really dumb name. Fine, let's go to top of Mount Dark. Okay, that was pretty dumb. Can you please tell me what the hell is going on here? Oh. If you didn't just exit the level by using this pipe. I honestly should be able to go here. Red, red, red. That's the 
dark depths, isn't it? Or deep depths that I needed to beat to get here. <laughs> and now it just puts me on an auto scroller. With hopping flames and spinies, and the, the, he knows very well I can't spin jump, so. If I get really unlucky, I'm just gonna get hit, and there's not gonna be much I can do about it. Yeah, there goes that power up. Good thing I just keep chucking these ball bombs around, because every time you do kick one horizontally, it resets the timer, and now I can, now I have this guy to deal with. And now I have almost nothing I can do. And I'm pretty much defenseless against this guy in case he does throw a spiny in just the worst place possible. Can you actually go in that pipe or... No, you have to go in there. Okay, that was tough to escape from. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to go right. Oh, they're still on screen. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to just go and hope I don't die. If I walk all the way back... No, I can't do that. <laughs> so I just gotta go through this, what looks like a sewer here. Expecting a bunch of fireballs that I need to do something about. Because if I don't react to them quick enough, obviously I'm dead. I think I have to backtrack here and then just... getting trickier and trickier each time, but I'm definitely able to handle it. If only I would've gone fast enough for that mushroom, because I feel like this is going to be a really long, painful level, and I just jumped on some munchers. This is probably going to be one of these long, painful, no checkpoint levels, and I just jumped on munchers. I tried to follow the coins, and that time it didn't actually work. This level's probably gonna take forever. And have almost no power-ups and be hard as shit, too. I don't know if I'll be making it through this entire game at this rate. I remember the sequel was a lot harder than the original. And it's only gonna be, like, worse if these things keep following me. There's only a 1 in 4 chance it does change directions to follow you, but... If it does happen, that... That, you could pretty much be screwed if it does happen. Just trying to be wary of the spiny and the Lakitu. Just so this is a little bit easier. And I get hit on some of the bob bombs. Just so this will be slightly easier. Or actually, much easier. Yeah, it was much easier, but... I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna go right away, because I know for a fact that if you do go right away, you can get that mushroom. Otherwise, you've missed your chance at it. Almost lost it there, too. Okay. Now I've lost that mushroom because I didn't go, didn't judge that timing right. Now we're gonna go in this pipe and hopefully we don't just jump on some mushrooms this time. I remember that there was a set of three right about. Then again, I think if I just don't follow the coins, I'll be fine. Should have gotten the hint. Then again, it's kind of hard to guess. I mean, last time you followed the coins and it actually worked out in your favor. No power-ups. Don't know what to expect. No midpoint. Got nothing going into this. I get faked out, I'm, well, just, I'm just dead. Okay, I can stand here and be safe, I just need to jump at the right angle. And nothing to protect me from getting faked out if it happens. And now we got a time limit to work against, too. And I'm dead. And there's a time limit on top of all that.
having only one power up wasn't bad enough, and having a lengthy level with no mint points wasn't bad enough, there's also a time limit. So I also had to do it fast as shit too, apparently. Gotta be careful. Gotta have good endurance and be fast. And you gotta be fast too, I think. But if you can do this, then you are an amazing player. Now this is what I, this is what I'd really call a super player. Not just the guy who beat Funky. Beating this is like really like what it means to be a super player. At least I know there's one other mushroom in the sage I can get. So that's only a total of two so far. Once you do know what everything is, really, it's not that bad. But still, it's pretty ridiculous nonetheless. So I know I'll go for that one straight away, because if I don't, I don't have a shot at that mushroom. Oh. Now, I don't know what it is I have to watch out for here, but I know I have to watch out for something. It was that, actually. Oh, it still killed me! But just barely. Can I just die and restart the level? Because I want to have that power to work with. Give myself a little more time for this. These next two sections where- And then I just completely and utterly throw it. And now I have no more power up, which I really could have used. And I just completely and utterly throw it. So I still need to figure out just what the hell I'm gonna do here. This is hell. This is hell. This is almost impossible. I don't know if it even is possible with like no power-ups. That's almost impossible to do right there, I swear. I tried as hard as I could to not get killed by the lava and it still got me. Do I have to jump at exactly the right time? Does it have to be frame perfect? This isn't a speed run here. It should just be a casual playthrough. Part of why I'm not speedrunning right now is because I'd rather not be trying to do frame perfect tricks all the time. Or at least some frame perfect tricks. That's kind of like to try and avoid that. And then I die. Because I can't let go of the ball bomb apparently anymore. I can't let go of it and just jump at the same time. I'm not lucky. Okay, I guess I am lucky. Okay, now I need to get out of there before I'm in trouble again. Okay, now I have no ball bomb to deflect this guy with, so I'm gonna have to actually just put up with him until we get to the pipe where the chuck is. I have to try to put up, put up with him now. Oh, there we go! That actually worked out very well for ourselves. So now we have two power-ups to work with. I'm still worried about that lava segment there, because I have no clue what to do for it. Try this once more and then maybe just stop the video if something goes wrong. If I can't get past that lava section, then I don't know what to tell you. Come 
Come on! There we go, made that jump. Now we're big going into the lava section, but I don't know if having an extra power is gonna make me tall enough to survive the lava, or if I'm just gonna die either way. <laughs> well, let's just go and hope for the best. I like the bet that you need the- Wow! What kind of a hitbox- Wow, the usually the lava doesn't kill you that quickly, but I guess- I guess in this hack? I guess in that level at least, the game begs to differ. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to jump as high as I possibly can off both of those falling platforms. And without the green switch, that wouldn't even be possible to do. And even with it, it's barely possible unless you can figure out exactly what you're supposed to do. I think I got it, but now I have to get all the way back there just to try again. I just want another try. That's like the real boss of this hack so far. That jump. Or that set of jumps. That's the real boss so far. And not only that, the bomb exploded on me. Not only could I not kill the Lakitu, the bomb exploded on me. So now I have, like, no power right now. And I can't get rid of this guy. And if he wants to kill me, he can. Okay, now he can at least. Shut up and try and get back to the lava section because I think I know what to do there now. And if I don't, then I really don't want to call it quits here because I will. I really don't want to call it quits here, but I'm tempted to. <laughs> Considering how long some of these levels have ended up being for having no midpoints and almost no power ups. Or so few that you don't have power-ups often. <laughs> Especially if you keep getting hit all the time. So the lava hitboxes, like, those are, like, much crazier than I thought. I just need to know what everything is going to do. Now I'm gonna get another shot. Unless I fail to make some of these jumps, even. <sighs> we had the shot and we lost it. How do you actually do that? Is that even po- no. Mm, is that even po- is that even possible? I wanna know right now if that's possible. It, it must be, like, why else is it there? And I know for a fact the way it's built, I'm sure it's made to be impossible without the green switch, but we have it, so it should be possible, but it's not possible, because I don't know. It feels like it's impossible, but it shouldn't be. Like, if it wasn't possible, it wouldn't even be there. It wouldn't ideally be there. But I have seen people beat the game. I have beaten the game before, so... I've done that, probably safe scummed it, but I know it is actually technically possible. I'm just trying to get room to actually hit the lag tube, but he's not gonna give it to me. Like, he's not even gonna let me hit him. Like, I can't even get the good spot to stand to hit the guy. I can't even stand anywhere without getting hit by spinies. Can we just go again? One more fail and I just start using safe states at least to just get back here quicker just so I can test the jump a few more times. Come on! We actually did it, so let's just hurry up because I... Oh no. No. We gotta do more of these. We gotta do another one! I did one of the hardest tricks in the game and now I gotta do it again. That's probably one of the hardest tricks in that game. And I gotta do it a second time. You literally just have to pray that you can land it. And now I can't even jump that high because there's a ceiling in my way.
Get in the pipe, come on. I I'm never gonna beat the level at this rate, because I keep dying on the exact same obstacle over and over again. And sometimes I don't even get close to that obstacle, because hopping flames and spinies like, everywhere just ambush me. Or the lack of two, or the ball almost blow up on me. Something always happens. Oh no, now we have no power ups. Not like I really, not like I really needed them that badly, anyways. Just. It's always the lava that kills me, anyway, so. I don't think this is gonna change much right now. I mean, I'm getting really good at all the other sections, because I had to play, replay most of this level a bunch of times already. So I'm getting great at the other sections because of that. And as such, I'm not even gonna need the power ups, probably. I'm just gonna need to be able to time the jumps properly, but I don't get that many opportunities to do so because I have a lot of level to replay every time I do screw it up. Just to have an extra midpoint, because really, guys, I can do all this stuff before it. It's this that I need to practice on, really. And I might not even need the extra safe state. We'll just see. I'm gonna hope that I don't, but I... I might not even need the extra safe state. Wow. Never mind. I'll just use it just to save time, because for fuck's sake, like... I've been here for almost 20 minutes now, and it's all probably because of this one obstacle. Or two, or whatever. You have... Like, a very, very narrow window to do all this. Messing up is instant death, and on top of that... I mean, if that wasn't bad enough, you have a bunch of real level to redo every time you do screw this up. And the time limit is scaring me as well, so really... Fuck this level. Just let it end. I mean, I could have done that. I could have done the other section again, but... Really. You wouldn't want to do it either, I'm sure of it. You wouldn't want to be forced to replay that every time you die to a very tricky set of jumps like that either, I'm sure of it. Let's never speak of that level again. <laughs> 